हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दी एस ट्रेनिंग सेशन लेसन नंबर वन सो व्हाट इज एस क्यू एल एस क्यू एल इज ऑल्सो प्रोनाउंस एज सीक्वल एस क्यू एल स्टैंड फॉर स्ट्रक्चर क्वेरी लैंग्वेज द मेन पर्पज ऑफ एस क्यू एल स्टेटमेंट आर यूज टू परफॉर्म टास्क सच एज इंसर्शन अपडेशन ऑफ डेटा और रिट्रीवल ऑफ डेटा फ्रॉम द डेटा बेस देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ एस क्यू एल लैंग्वेजेस फर्स्ट वन इज डी डी एल डेटा डेफिनेशन लैंग्वेज बेसिकली डी इज यूज to define the database structure or schema the five commands are used in ddl first one is create create is used to create object in the database the object is also called tables in terms of data base the second one is alter alter command is used to altering the structure of the table suppose if you want to add one more column into the table or you want to drop one column from the table we can use alter command there are other options used in alter which i am going to explain in the next lesson third one is drop drop is used to delete the table or the object from the database with the help of drop command we can delete the structure as well as record or you can say rows from the database fourth one is truncate truncate is used to remove all the records or rows present in the table but with the help of truncate command the structure will not be deleted it will remain same only the records or the rows into the table will be deleted the last one is the rename with the help of rename command we can rename an object now the next one is dml dml is data manipulation language the dml is the main type and we are using these commands in most of the cases the commands used here are used for insertion updation basically dml is used for managing data within the schema object the first one is select command is used to retrieve the data from the database the select command is used mostly so i am going to explain the select command in my next lesson here i am only giving the overviews of types all the types of sql languages the next one is insert insert is used to insert the record or row into the table the update update is used to update the existing record or row into the table delete is used for deleting the records from the table the merge is a advanced one which is the operation includes insertion and updation the next one is dcl dcl is data control language in this dcl com language two commands are there first one is grant grant is used for to giving privileges or permission to 
the defined user into the database. This grant we can give for a different commands which we already read in our DML, DML commands like update, insert, delete. The second one is revoke. Revoke is used to withdraw or take back the privilege or, or the permission which which is given with the grant command. The next one is the TCL. TCL is transaction control language which is used to manage data and the changes made by DML statements. It allows the statement to be grouped together into the logical transactions. The three commands comes under TCL language. First one is commit. Commit is used to save the transaction whatever you have done. It means if you have if you had created the table insertion transaction you applied updation all those your transaction are saved if you run the commit command the another one is save point which is used to identify a point in a transaction which you can later roll back we can also call the save point as a bookmark the third one but not the least is the rollback. Rollback is used to restore the database to the original since the last commit. It means we can restore all the transaction whatever we have performed since the last commit. So friends, this is the end of lesson one. Now in the next lesson i am going to explain you all the commands their syntax with examples thank you